Hello, it's Mr. Logue. In this maths lesson, we're going to be finding missing percentages in pie charts. Uh, we are going to be finding those percentages and in some cases using the percentages to find quantities uh, that are represented in that data. Let's go through some top tips. Always remember that the whole pie chart, the full circle, represents 100%. Half of a pie chart is 50%, and a quarter of a pie chart would represent 25%. Second top tip, sometimes two or more known segments will be the same size as another unknown segment. So just look visually at the segments in the pie to see if any of them you can combine them together because they're the same size as the uh, one of the unknown. One. In this lesson, we're going to be using this quite a lot, subtracting the percentage we know from 50%. And step two, when we've found all the percentages, we should just check that they do all add up to 100%. Let's have a look at the first pie chart. This pie chart shows the percentage of different kinds of books in a library. The magazines are 15%. And the reference books are 5%. We do not know the percentage of non-fiction books and the percentage of fiction books. Here are the three questions on this pie chart. A. What percentage of those books are fiction? B. Are there more fiction or non-fiction books? And C. What is the difference in percentage between the fiction and non-fiction books? If you'd like to solve this yourself, you should pause the video now. I'm going to talk through the steps that we can use to solve A, B and C. Right, let's start with A. So, we know that the reference books and the fiction books together make up half of the pie chart. And as we remember from before in our top tips, half a pie chart is 50%. So, Reference plus fiction equals 50%. That means if we subtract the 5% of reference books from the 50%, which would be that full half of the pie, we will get the amount that are fiction books. 50% subtract 5% is 45%. That means that the fiction books must be 45% of the books in that library. On to B. It asks us, are there more fiction or non-fiction books? Now, we could look at it and say, I think it's this, but actually, we need to prove it. So let's use that same method we did before, the other half of the pie chart. That section for magazines and that section for non-fiction would add up to 50%. We know 15% are magazines. So if we subtract the 15% of magazines from the 50% on that half of the pie chart, we will get 35%. That means that 35% of the books in that library are non-fiction. On to C. What is the difference in percentage between fiction and non-fiction books? Well, non-fiction books 35%, fiction books, 45%. 45% subtract 35% will give us the difference. And as you'll see, the difference there is 10%. So the difference between the two is 10%. This is our second pie chart. This time, this pie chart shows 250 milliliter bottle and the contents of it in percentages. Question number one about this pie chart, what percentage of the bottle is lime? Question two, how many millilitres of banana juice is there? And question three, how many millilitres of pineapple juice is there? If you'd like to solve this yourself, you should pause the video now. Let's solve A, what percentage of the bottle is lime? Well, if we remember that a whole pie chart is 100%, that means banana 
plus pineapple plus orange plus lime must equal 100. So 20 plus 40 plus 32 plus something is 100. Let's add the known quantities together. 20 plus 40 plus 32 equals 92. Find that unknown quantity, 100%, subtract the 92 we know, leaves us with 8%. That means the lime must be 8% of the content of the bottle. B, how many millilitres of banana juice is there? Now we're going to need to find percentages of quantities. The percentage we need to find out here is 20%. 20% of the millilitres in the bottle. And the bottle is 250 millilitres. Let's use our key percentages to solve this. We can find 10% of any number by dividing that number by 10. 250 divided by 10. 250 divided by 10 is 25. That means 10% of 250 millilitres is 25 millilitres. Now we need to double that to find 20%. 25 multiplied by 2 is 50. That means that there are 50 millilitres of banana juice in that bottle. C, how many millilitres of pineapple juice is there? Well, there are 40% of the bottle is pineapple. Let's use the percentage we already know. 20% of 250 millilitres was 50 millilitres. 40% is double 20%. 50 multiplied by 2 is 100. That means pineapple juice is 100 millilitres of that bottle. Here's our final pie chart. This shows how much paper a country uses in a particular year. First question, what percentage of container board was used? Second question, what percentage of box board was used? And the final question, what percentage was used for printing and writing? If you'd like to solve this yourself, pause now. Let's start by thinking about question A. Question A is asking about the container board. If we look at the segment for the container board, and then next to it we have packaging and newsprint, those three segments together make up half of the pie chart. Half of the pie chart is 50%. If we add together newsprint and packaging, we get 13%. 50% subtract the 13%, which is newsprint and packaging, Will give us the amount of container board. 37%. 37% is container board. Let's look at B. What percentage of box board was used? This is one of those questions where we can look visually. If you look at newsprint and packaging together, those segments are the same size as the pink segment of box board. If Newsprint and packaging are 13%, then box board is also 13%. Final question. What percentage was used for printing and writing? Well, we know that tissue is 7%, and we just worked out that box board is 13%. Box board, printing and writing, and tissue all together would make 50%. Box board plus tissue, 20%. That's 7 plus 13. 50, subtract that 20%, is 30. We therefore know that printing and writing must be 30%. Good.
For your next step on pie charts, I'd like you to go back to the pie charts you've already drawn using fractions and show them as percentages. A quick way to do that is by dividing the numerator of the fraction by the denominator and then multiplying the answer by 100. For example, 3 quarters as a percentage can be found by dividing 3, the numerator, by 4, the denominator, and multiplying the answer by 100. You could use a calculator to do this. 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 100 is 75. 3 quarters as a percentage is 75%. Hopefully you enjoy finding percentages using your pie charts. Bye for now.